Do you feel overwhelmed when you think about accounting for your business? Are you unsure about where to start with bookkeeping? Do you want to take control of your business finances, but you don't know how? Hi, this is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo. And if any of these questions resonated with you, you're in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to guide you through the basics of mastering accounting and bookkeeping for your business. So whether you're just starting out or looking to brush up on your skills, these five essential tips will set you on the path to financial clarity and control. So here they are. Number one, understand basic accounting principles. Two, organize your financial documents. Three, use accounting software. Four, Regularly monitor your finances and five, seek professional advice when you need it. So, do they sound interesting and exciting to you? Or did your brain shut down, just like me, after hearing those five steps? You see, I have a confession to make. Among all the functions of a businesswoman, focusing on accounting and bookkeeping is the area that I have resisted for a long, long time. It's because just by hearing the words, listing down, organizing, or monitoring finances, my brain would shut down. I guess it's not about numbers because I love looking at marketing and sales numbers and graphs as well as analyzing them. But looking at how much money I have or don't have, I super, super, super hate that. And I'd procrastinate again and again until my business mistakes got me into a huge, huge debt that caused me to almost lose my marriage, my family, and even my own life. It was when I hit rock bottom that I forced myself to start paying attention. It was also providential that at that time, my daughter, Chu, an OFW and a CPA, decided to come home to help out. She was the one who patiently guided me and our businesses so that we could pay off all our creditors and to finally be on our way to financial freedom in our 50s. I talk about this topic today because if you are like me, I don't want you to procrastinate any longer. Don't wait until you are in your 50s because it's gonna be too late. So, let's go to tip number one. Understand basic accounting principles. Start by familiarizing yourself with basic accounting principles. Whether you like it or not, this foundational knowledge is crucial for accurate bookkeeping and understanding your business's financial health. Begin with learning the basics of debits and credits and understand, just understand how they affect the different accounts in your business and what they mean for you. Just like my mentee, Lisa. When she first started, accounting seemed like a foreign language. However, when she learned how important it was for her own survival and her business's survival, she patiently searched for free YouTube tutorial videos and dedicated time each day to learning the basic principles. This understanding transformed how she managed her business because instead of using her own gut feel, she now relies on her numbers to help her make informed financial decisions. Tip number two, organize your financial documents. Why? Well, when you keep your financial records in order, you simplify the accounting process and having everything in order is essential for accurate bookkeeping. And to do this, you need to develop a system for organizing receipts, invoices, and bank statements, whether digitally or in physical files. Now, it's just like my coaching client, Jane, who runs a local bar. Initially, Jane's receipts and invoices were disorganized, leading to confusion. She came to me because after two years of operating her bar, she did not know if she was making money or not. So the first thing I asked her to do was to make sure she organized her papers. Once she implemented an organized filing system, she saved time and reduced errors in her bookkeeping and financial management became easier for her. So can you do that? I'm sure you can. Tip number three. Use accounting software. Unlike during my time decades ago when I started, everything then was done manually. Now you are so blessed that there are many accounting software available in the market today. So take advantage of them. With accounting software, you can streamline your bookkeeping process and reduce the errors that you incur when you do manual recording. Take your time to do research and choose a software that fits your business needs, such as QuickBooks or Sage 50. Study each of their features to find the best one for you. Emmy is a specialty bakery owner who used to do everything manually. And after transitioning to accounting software, she cut down the time she spent on bookkeeping by half, allowing her to focus more on growing her business. Now, she's starting to document all her business processes and she's now starting to build her dream team so that she can gear up for expansion. Would you like that? Tip number four, regularly monitor your finances. Make it a habit to regularly review your financial statements, weekly if possible, but at least monthly. 
Regular monitoring helps you catch issues early and gives you a clearer picture of your business's financial health. So set aside time each week to review your profit and loss statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. Just like Angela, a business owner like you. Initially, Angela only looked at her finances at the end of the year, if ever. By shifting to regular reviews, she started to identify trends and make proactive adjustments to improve her marketing, her sales, and even her purchasing. She also was able to identify areas that needed improvement in her expenses. So by seeing what's happening in these two areas, she significantly improved her business's profitability very quickly. Tip number five, and the last tip is to seek professional advice when you need it. How are you so far? Are you ready to tips number one to number four? If you are, know that there will still be complex accounting issues from time to time. Now, when this happens, don't hesitate to seek professional advice right away. Expert advice can prevent costly mistakes and provide you with peace of mind. So look for a competent certified accountant or bookkeeper and consult her, especially for tax-related matters or financial planning. Some face challenges with tax filing. After consulting with an accountant, she not only streamlined her tax process, but she also uncovered tax-saving opportunities. And that enhanced her boutique's financial health very much. So don't try to do it alone. Without my friend and accountant, Sel Balagot, giving me the right advice to help me turn my businesses around, I don't know where I would be right now. That's why I am eternally grateful to her. Look for the Sel Balagot in your life as well. One more thing, when I asked earlier if you're ready to do tips number one to number four and your answer is still no for most of them or all of them, then you can look for a different type of professional help and not just advice. There is such a thing as outsourcing your bookkeeping for a fee. Did you know that? We did not have that privilege back then, but with cell phones, laptops, and internet connections readily available now, this is sometimes a better option than hiring your in-house accounting department. If you're interested in this, let me know in the comments below so I can connect you with some of them. Now, let me go back and summarize. Mastering basic accounting and bookkeeping is a powerful step towards taking control of your business's financial future. Like the women owners of the small businesses you met in this video, you too can achieve financial clarity and success. Don't let accounting intimidate you like how it intimidated me. With these steps, you're well on your way to becoming financially savvy with timely and accurate financial statements at your fingertips. If you're ready to learn more and to take your business to the next level, remember to subscribe to my newsletter for more insights and tips. Together, let's unlock your business's financial potential and create a thriving future. So thank you for joining me today. Until next time, stay inspired, stay empowered, and keep reaching for your dreams. This is Mommy and Your Mommy Negosyo saying, Be Business Minded, Pinoy! Yeah.